Hi everyone, I'm Dolan Duckett, and today we're going to be doing things a little bit simple. We're going to be making salads. So, let's just get straight to it. Okay, so we're going to start off with the romaine lettuce. I like to cut the romaine lettuce in about one centimeter pieces. You can start at either end, it doesn't matter. Alright, as you can see in the background, I already started earlier, but uh, this is just a good example of where to start. Now we're going to put our salad in the salad spinner to get rid of all the excess water from the wash we did earlier. Now we're going to give it a good spin. A real good spin. Now I should have had another bowl but we're just going to put that in the sink real quick and that was ultra quick. We're going to give it a second spin just to make sure. Lock it back up and we're going to take it out. And place the rest in the bowl. Now to prevent the lettuce from welting, we're going to cover the bowl with plastic wrap before placing it into the refrigerator. So after letting the onion soak, I simply dice them, cutting down its length and then down its width. Very simple, just dicing them into cubes. And then right after this, we're going to do it again to the second half. Again, we're just going to do leg. Turn them to the side and do the width. And place those to the side. Now we're going to get a glass container just to get them out of the way before we dice the peppers. Take your time, you're dealing with a very sharp knife. Now I'm placing them to one side because we're going to put them in the same container with the peppers. We're going to use some plastic wrap to separate them so they don't contaminate one another. Now for the peppers, we simply dice them. As you see, I just chop up and down with the knife and feed the peppers through the knife. Remember, take as long as you need to. No need to Gordon Ramsay, you may hurt yourself. So please always use safety. Maybe I need to sharpen my knife, but you can just break them apart if they didn't fully separate. We're going to place them in our container, top it, and then place it in the refrigerator. For cutting the tomatoes, I used a sharpening paring knife. I'll first make a full cut straight down the middle, then working the blade around, I'll fillet the core.
After filleting the core, we're going to turn the fruit upside down, slicing diagonally to create our wedges. When you get about halfway, just flip the blade the other direction diagonally and continue slicing. Now to clear our board, we're going to use our glass container and place our wedges right side up to prepare them for seasoning. Now we're just going to repeat the process for the second half. So then we're going to turn the fruit upside down again, slicing diagonally. We're gonna make the last of our wedges, and then we're gonna season them. Now we're gonna place them in the container with the others. Now we're going to get rid of the cutting board, place them comfortably. Now we're going to start off with fresh cracked peppercorn, kosher salt, and then we're going to finish them with a drizzle of olive oil. This is going to help make the flavor overall pop. Now we're going to top, and you guessed it. Place it in the refrigerator. Next up, we're going to prepare our blue cheese toast. Just to let you all know, my bread is homemade and will be covered in a later episode. But you can use any bread you want. I have Graves disease, so this is just another way I try to limit my iodine and preservative intake. Since I'll be placing the toast in an air fryer, I'm going to make my slices a little thick. Depending on what appliance you're using, make them as thick as you want. Alright, reaching for the melted butter, we're going to use our brush and we're going to begin just stroking the butter on to each slice. Now we're going to flip each slice and repeat the process. Sorry, that was a crumb. Now for a seasoning, we're going to start by sprinkling ginger on each slice. Followed by fresh cracked peppercorn. Then we're going to add garlic powder. And then lastly, kosher salt. 
To ensure the seasonings are set into the crumb, we're going to use the brush and stroke each slice again. Now we're going to flip them and repeat the process. We're starting with the ginger. The peppercorn. The garlic powder. And the kosher salt. And again, stroke each slice to ensure the seasonings are in the crumb. And then for our VIP, there are blue cheese. Now, of course, that isn't enough, so we're going to go around twice. Now we're just making sure they had an even spread and then we're going to transfer them to the plate. And we're going to wrap them. Man, you guys are catching on. You know we're going to put them in the fridge. Great job. The last item we need to prepare is our sweet Italian sausage. Now after washing them, we need to do a couple of things before taking it to the grill. First, we'll hit both sides with canola oil. Here I'm using a spray bottle. And nothing elegant, just flip and spray. Then we're gonna sprinkle both sides with cornstarch. Cornstarch helps prevent the oil from being reabsorbed into the skin or casing while and after cooking, giving them that restaurant crispiness and keeping those juices inside. Now we're gonna transfer them onto the plate. Remove the cutting board and place it into the sink. Now we'll wrap and place in the refrigerator. This will allow the cornstarch to set with the oil and more importantly will prevent cross-contamination to the other prepared items. To grill our sausages, we're using the Ninja Foodi Indoor Grill, set to air crisp mode at 309 degrees Fahrenheit for 8 minutes. Doesn't take long. Now, you can see real quickly what the cornstarch did in this case. It crisped the ends while keeping the oil off the casing. You can still see it bubbling with inside the casing in some of the frames. Beautiful. Then for the toast, I kept the same settings of air crisp mode at 390 degrees Fahrenheit, but for only four minutes this time. Now the bottom ones had to stay in for another two minutes, but here's what the final product looks like. I had mine with Noonan's own lemon basil vinaigrette, paired with Remy Martin. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and tell me what you think in the comment section. Until next time, have a good one.